Oh my gosh, that is the business. So good. So, like that. Well, if you want to see how I made this delicious, very delicious shrimp cocktail, así para que se aprendan a cocinar los que no saben, you know. But si pasan algo su your man, boyfriend, whatever you have. And if you don't know how to cook, just keep on watching and I'll show you how to cook. So what are we doing today? I'm getting some food. Four? Four. Four. Vamos a hacer. Vamos a hacer. Un. Un. Cocktail. Cocktail. De. De. Camarón. Camarón. Para. Para. I can't see it. Who are you going to make it for? Dio. So we're here at Walmart. We're going to get all the things we need to make the cocktail de camarón. Um, that's it. Say, well, see you guys inside the store. See you guys inside the store. <laughs> okay. So here's the food. Some jalapeno. Some... <laughs> oh, look, glad you're going to about to eat it. So, got some jalapeno, some pickles. Some lettuce, some, some gospel right there, and some lemon, <laughs> some pineapple, some ah. cherries, oh, yeah. and some ah. oh, tomato. Oh, and some avocado. Ah. <laughs> okay, now my mommy's getting some. My mommy getting some. What's that called, mommy? Crab, but we're not gonna get crab. She was about to get crab, but we're not gonna get, get crab. Well, welcome to my brother's kitchen. <laughs> and we are gonna be making him a uh, cocktail de camarón today. This is everything we need. I make it with clamato and V8 to make it thick. I use the V8. We have cucumbers, tomato, onion, and medium shrimp, aguacate, cilantro, uh, celery. How do you say celery in Spanish? Celery, lemons, and jalapenos. And we're gonna make it all in here. So. I'm gonna cut everything up and then I'll show you how everything looks. So let's see how it's turned out. Okay. There. Oh, oh, oh. So, okay. So we are all done cutting everything up that we needed tomatoes, celery, jalapeno, uh, cucumber. Aguacate, red onion. You could use any onion, but I use red onion because it looks fancy. And cilantro. So after we're done, oh, I put three and a half lemons in there. Now we're gonna put some V8, and I use the V8 for the thickness of it. So let's see how much. Oh, and then the. Okay, the, this, what is this called? Um, shrimp, 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 shrimp. So, let's put this in there. Okay, so, all of one of the eight and 
I use this one too. This one is picante. So shake it up and pour that in there as well. And then you grab a spoon. You know these spoons? You use them to whip your kids. So these are good spoons. But mix the lot up. And yeah. oh yeah, and by the way, if you the trick I do is I put the what is this? The the cebolla, the onion, and water, and it kind of stops it the like the strong sense of it from you making you cry so it kind of helps me that's why I put it in the water that's probably why you see it in water but it all fits oh no hold on Last time on the other one, and some garlic, nice and seasoned. Like I said, that in rico, so poquito así. Now we, okay. So, a ver así, clean it up. Let's taste it. A ver si sabe rico. A ver, a ver. Nervous because it has chili. However long you want to let it sit. The more you let it sit, the more it marinates and the more it tastes delicious. But we'll see if I pass the test with my brother because he's very special. See if he likes it. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video.